Good morning guys, welcome to another video blog. Sorry about the two missed video blogs uh, yesterday and the day before. I will explain myself, but we're just about to start the car up as we are about to go to meeting number one of the day and you're coming with me because it's quite exciting. Turn the air conditioning down and uh, that is one of the reasons. Oh, the gearbox is working, oh, amazing. Very strange why the gearbox is working. So this is the first time that I've driven the car uh, since Silverstone. Engine light isn't on. Camera on the dashboard. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you guys about, but let's quickly start off with why I missed the video blogs yesterday and the day before. Normally I'm very good at recording, but on the Tuesday I was so busy in the office that it would have been the most boring video blog of me sat on my laptop trying to get everything done. Um, and I had a lot of organizing to do, I had a lot of phone calls and, and there wasn't a cameraman um, or a fly on the wall that was able to film it. Wednesday's video blog that was supposed to go live yesterday um, that was a different story, quite a stupid story, and I found myself laughing to quite a few friends about it when I told them what had happened. Whereas at the time, it wasn't funny at all, and I was feeling quite ill. Basically, I was going to give you a video blog talking about some of the um, activities that had gone on yesterday, including a health update on the Audi R8. And it was also going to give you a quick um, update into what's happening today and what is going to be happening tomorrow on the video blogs. Now, I was sat in my car, the car was stationary, the windows were up and um, the keys weren't in the ignition and I was going to bring you a video blog from me sat in the driver's seat. But I couldn't get my sentences out. I had a very, very bad day in front of the camera. This is, this is just literally the camera's rolling and I'm talking and I'm talking naturally. Whereas yesterday, I tried to do that, I couldn't do that, and I kept trying to repeat myself and I kept trying to do more and more takes to get the perfect video blog. I just couldn't face giving you 30 minutes of me trying to string sentences together. So I kept trying to cut it and I kept trying to refilm it. And I was stuck in my car for about 45 minutes with the windows up, no aircon on, no keys in the ignition. I was just in this enclosed space for about 45 minutes and I started to get hot. The, the air, the, um, the windows started to steam up and literally, if I still had the footage that I had yesterday, unfortunately I deleted out of pure anger, then I could have shown you how steamed up it was and I became very, very lightheaded. And um, the best way of describing it is, I sat in my car for so long that I ran out of oxygen trying to film a video blog, which again, is um, very clumsy. And um, I think that you guys have seen through um, coming on my experiences with the Audi R8, I'm quite a clumsy person. I didn't know that I was quite, I didn't know I was clumsy until I started doing these video blogs and you guys got to see a day-to-day -day life. So we're driving my car very slowly. And that's the story as to why there was no video blogs over the last two days. We're now 10 miles away from Kit Customs where we get to have a look at some cool samples for wrap colours for this car. I mean, I'm starting to grow to like the silver. Um, I love the carbon side blades, I love the black wheels, um, and then even the silver nuts and bolts in the rims add to the sort of overall look of the car. But I, I honestly think that, um, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We have got a sign that says tunnel and we have a tunnel ahead of us. No one behind us either. Oh, it's a short tunnel. I might go into, into second gear, there's no one behind us. meeting 
um, meeting up with the guys down at Kit Customs and also discussing about how possible it is to make my car as unique as possible because that's what it's all about. I love the looks of um, the matte blacks, the matte greys, the matte silvers, the matte whites. They all look brilliant and they make the Audi R8 look so good but it's not unique and unfortunately, or fortunately, I really want my car to stand out. I want it to be as unique as possible. So, um, it's quite a nice countryside here. Oh, my neck's a whiplash from the acceleration. So we're just cruising now. But I put it back into cruise control now that there's no signs for tunnels ahead. 10, mile, ten minutes away. See if I can get it back up over 200 miles of fuel left, but we're halfway now, halfway on the fuel tank. I've been to Silver, I've been to Northampton and back, which is 120 miles, and then I went to Silverstone four times. I did four journeys to Silverstone and back, which is another 90 miles. Work that out, it's about 210, and then it's about 40 miles that I've driven up here. 250 miles. Edinburgh, here I come. Who's with me? Who's supporting me? And whether I can get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel? Comment below whether you're supporting me or whether you're supporting um, Team. I don't know what to call the other team. Comment below on what you should call both teams Team Edinburgh and Team Non Edinburgh. So I've thought of the two team names for Edinburgh. We're going to have Team Edinburgh and Team Just Outside of Edinburgh because the team just outside of Edinburgh are the people that think that I'm going to run out of fuel. Let me know if you've got any better suggestions because that was just um, off the top of my head. If you've got any better suggestions on what you think the two teams should be called, let's get the discussion going and um, hopefully we'll be able to come up with two solid team names ready for the um, drive up to Edinburgh because at the end of the day, it's a supercar. It shouldn't be doing good fuel, and it definitely shouldn't be getting to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel, but my superb Prius driving means that um, I'm able to. Maybe this is a secret hybrid. Maybe it's a secret Prius, and it's just got the shell of an R8. It would explain why I hate Priuses so much. I don't even hate them. Yeah, I do. Hey guys, I'm down at Kick Customs, as you can see here. My car is inside the workshop and we're just having a look at some of the samples. I've got them outside for you guys to see. So let's spread them out. And let me know what you think. We've got some yellow, some oranges, pink, some reds, some blues. These are all very basic colors. We've got some matte colors. I'm not sure whether you can see them. And then we move on to a more expensive ones. We've got like a candy red there, which looks very cool. But look at this blue. Some gloss. But, see what I mean by um, this is a difficult decision when it comes to picking a wrap. There's so much to choose from. There's so many different textures. We've got chrome. We've got like alligator skin. Look, I mean, all of these, all of these colors look so cool on the Audi R8. It's so difficult to choose. Um, but the idea for this meeting was to discuss when the wrap can be done and uh, uh, Supercars of London exclusive. The car is going to be wrapped for Gumball 3000 next Saturday. I'm so excited, so buzzing about the fact that the silver Audi R8 will be no more. As much as I love it, um, the car is going to be a different colour. One of the colours that I've just showed you there, but I can't reveal it just yet. Um, I'm too excited to even tell you, but of course it's um, all part of the surprise and there's going to be a huge unveiling on the Supercars of London YouTube channel the day before I drive up to Edinburgh. So I cannot wait to show you guys what the car is going to look like. Oh, I don't know what it's going to look like. 
I can only imagine. Um, but I can't tell you the colour just yet. But to um, answer your question on when the wrap is going to be done, it's going to be wrapped in time for next Saturday. So not this Saturday, next Saturday. So um, Army Tricks Audi R8 is changing colour. So we're just leaving Kick Customs having discussed or finalised the plan for the Audi R8. I'm going to put my valves off so you guys can hear me a bit better. And um, it's back home for a quick turnaround before I head into central London. But of course, I need to edit this video blog. So, um, a great morning, a very productive morning. It's now midday and um, I'm so excited and I think that the guys down at Kit Customs are also um, incredibly excited about what this car is going to look like. So um, I can't really, I, I so badly want to tell you, so badly want to tell you. Is it going to be pink? Is it going to be pink? I think the most requested colour was either matte black or blue chrome. popular colours, matte black and blue chrome. I'll tell you what I can tell you, it's neither of those colours. Those colours have been done. What this car is going to turn into has never been done before on any car. That's all I can tell you. I'm just going to cruise home now. I've got 190 miles left on my fuel range. Um, going to get ready and when this video goes live I'll probably be in central London looking for this LaFerrari and hopefully being able to bring you some cool footage of that very very soon. If I don't see the LaFerrari hopefully I see like a McLaren P1 um, or any sort of hypercar. Maybe a new Arab uh, supercar is going to arrive because it's, it's getting to the summer so um, fingers crossed I get to see some cool stuff but um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this insightful video about what's going to be happening with my vehicle wrap. It will be wrapped next week. Oh, my voice went funny then. The vehicle, the vehicle, the R8 will be wrapped next week. So um, things are going to get very, very exciting on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching um, and supporting. And again, oh, because I didn't do my video blog yesterday, I wanted to thank everyone for making me or helping me hit 70,000 subscribers. So as a thank you, I've managed to speed the wrap up and the car is going to be wrapped for very, very special videos coming in the next week or so. So thank you for all of your support, liking, commenting, and um, supporting Supercars of London to reach 70,000 uh, subscribers. Let's get it up to 100,000 subscribers. So keep sharing, subscribing, liking the um, videos, and um, just in general supporting me, the Audi R8, and... Um... So much for a double-sided sticky tape. Thank you for watching, guys!